What do you love most about owning a small business? I mean, even though we don't like dub ourselves uh, CEO or anything like that. No, or, never. Um, <laughs> and I think that that's, that's great. I'm glad that we were both on board with that. Um, I think trying to overstate, you know, what it is that you actually want to be, which is being a CEO would never be exactly what I wanted to do. No. Um, I just prefer to be more in the creative space. So I would say my favorite part would have to be just getting to be creative. I mean, you know, you can work for a business uh, and, and they're gonna have their ideas. They're gonna have investors that they have to, you know, appease and make happy. And so it really comes down to like, we get to be a little more creative. Um, we get to try all these new ideas that we come up with all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you're stuck in a rut and you're kind of stuck in, in someone else's, your boss, you kind of get forced to do things their way. It's yourself. What is, what I, is your I honestly part? enjoy um, the uncertainty of every day. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to, what kind of messages are going to be in your inbox in the morning from current clients or or perspe uh, prospective clients oh boy um, yeah so it's that's that's it's always a lot of fun for me just never knowing what the day may hold i mean i i agree i i do really like uh, that it's never mundane mm -hmm. you never really know uh <laughs> what's gonna happen and that you do get to wear a bunch of hats which is what i think allows you to be even more creative what is the most challenging thing about owning your own business challenging thing mm -hmm. um, well, I think that that's a difficult question uh, I guess on an individual basis the most challenging thing for me would be trying to keep that spark trying to keep that creative spark alive you know yeah. never getting in a rut where it's we're just taking clients on to take clients on um, but it's just trying to keep away from the, the cash grab and trying to focus more on the longevity mm -hmm. cash grab that's what day jobs are for. Yep. That's what you know, side jobs are for, side hustles are for. I would like this to be more of a focus. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's what it is. What about yourself? Um, accounting and taxes. What's your favorite book? Favorite book? Yeah. I think I know. You think you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite series? It's definitely Harry Potter. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I usually get pulled into movies and to books that allow you to like, sort of get away from everything and create a whole new world. Not that reality sucks, just that it's interesting to see people's perspective on, on you know, what it could be, like a, different, a whole different world. Mm -hmm. That's really cool to me. So I'd definitely say those are my favorite series, for sure. What about yourself? I know you, uh, you yeah. said you read 30 a year? <laughs> I try to, yeah. I make a list every New Year's Day <laughs> of all the books I want to read over the coming year. Okay. Um, but out of every book I've read in my entire life, anytime I'm ever asked this question, I always come back to Where the Red Fern Grows. It's an interesting choice. It's my favorite of all time. So I'm, not sure I can pin, I'm not sure I can pinpoint a specific reason why. Um, I mean, the storytelling's great. I like the the setting, I think, because it resonates a little bit with the area in which I grew up. I didn't grow up in the Ozarks, but it's just got that whole southern backwoodsy feel to it. Okay. So I think that plays into it some. Um, I don't you know, it's just a great story. It's, it's one of the few stories I've ever read that's actually really pulled my heartstrings. In general, what motivates Nick Zinke to work hard? <laughs> Excitement. Um. <laughs> Motivates me to work hard. I mm -hmm. guess it's a need for, I guess, not necessarily being seen, mm -hmm. but a need for um, being sort of known. Yeah. Sort of, you know, everyone who I touch, everyone who I'm a part of, I guess it's more of a need for them to see that, you know, I, you don't have to be stuck in a rut and you can be relentless and you can keep pushing through and doing different things that you might have thought you never could do. A lot of people that I know take nine to fives and they just work it and they don't like it their whole lives. And I guess for me, in every aspect, when I do things, I think, you know, I'm not going to get stuck in something I don't like. I'm going to keep pursuing, keep pushing, whether that's working out or doing anything. Mm -hmm. I think it's the idea of just continuing to push. That's my motivation. It's just deep answer. sort of showing people, keep moving. Yeah. yeah deep what about you? What's um, your motivation? To work honestly, more? I honestly think it it comes from growing up in a small town and 
watching my parents growing up. They both worked my whole life, working hard, and um, instilled in me the importance of it, and that if you ever want to get anywhere in life, if you ever want anything in life, then you have to go get it. And so I don't ever want to be someone who has it in my mind that I'm entitled to or that I have to depend on anyone else to get anything I want. If I want something, I'm going to find a way to work for it and make it happen. And so I think that's just, that's just something they instilled in me, you know, over 18 years that if you want anything, you have to go get it yourself, so. That's, uh, that's probably an even better answer than that. <laughs> I'm sure your mom, when she sees this video, will be very happy with your dad. <laughs> On the spot answers, there was absolutely no preparation for this, because I'm sure everyone can tell. <laughs> we'll see. Final question, since it is nearly Christmas, it's like nine days until Christmas, mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song? Mm -hmm. um, most people hate when I answer this question. Okay. Uh, because I always say, Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone looks at me and they're like, that's not really a Christmas song, Nick. That's like a kid song. And I'm like, no, it's amazing. All right, from a kid, from being, from when I was a kid, to be more specific, um, my grandma would put the song on and it would just, just make me laugh. I would just laugh so hard and sing it as loud as I could. And I think that that just stuck with me throughout my whole life. So every time it comes out, it just makes me think of my grandma and that experience. That's and so I'm just always focused on it, which is weird. <laughs> I was gonna say because she got <laughs> and the song supposedly got ran over. Um, I don't know. I don't know, know if it's I don't sweet know. or it's a little bit of weird. I yeah, think. it's uh, a little but, unsettling, but but like for some reason, this is Nick. That memory. <laughs> That memory connected those two together, and it just forever. I just every time it comes on, I think of my grandma playing that song and me laughing hysterically and singing it. And I'm not quite sure she thought it was funny. I just know I did as a child, so that's well, always stuck with me. Well, so, what's your favorite Christmas song? <laughs> my favorite Christmas song is "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas." Always has been, um, from a very young age. So. Any particular artist? I know that's been remade multiple times. Yeah, um, most recently, probably Sam Smith's basically a cappella version. Pretty much anything Sam Smith. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, I think that's uh, my current favorite. So. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, very, very good choice. I think Sam Smith's always a good choice. Yeah. Uh, and actually sounds more Christmassy than mine. So. <laughs> Yours, that was, I wasn't ready for that one. Well. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, this was Get to Know Us. Again, Nick, Paige, we're the, what, creators behind Z Coast? Creators. Creators, I like that. All right, like Z Coast Media. Um, if you haven't already, we actually started this channel with Vlogmas, which was very ambitious and, and maybe a little dumb. <laughs> because vlogging is hard. But we started this channel with vlogging. We plan to do a lot more structured videos that pertain to what we actually do at Z Coast moving forward, but we thought this would be a fun video to kind of kick things off and uh, give you the chance to get to know us. So, with that, I believe we're done. All right. Do you have a, a signing off that you'd like to do? No. No? <laughs> Haven't got that far yet. All right. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to love you, love you.